Hello and welcome again to an another tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how you can configure DID numbers in your VC dial. So as you can see, I have the VC dial installed over here. So we are going to log into the administration first. So once we log in over here, it will show you page like this. Then we have to go to the admin and then go to the carrier okay so what i have to do is uh, i have to configure the carrier details for that particular did uh, that your did provider uh, is shared with you so in my case i have something like this so let me just register this as a you know carrier so it will be like okay so we are going to receive the call from the DID so we have to configure this setting this setting will be provided uh, to you by your service provider from where you purchase this DID so okay let me just change this this is just a temporary ID I have created for my uh, from my web server so let me just do this okay now okay so it will take one or two minutes to register this thing so let me tell you about something first so we can use this did to forward our inbound calls like suppose you are uh, calling a uh, customer outside and you wanted to receive their calls also so when they will call you uh, your call will be landed on your vc dial so you can forward those call in many ways like you can put a uh, IBR so when they will call you they will hear a pre-recorded message or you can forward it to a direct phone ID or a campaign or in group there are many features uh, so in this scenario I'm going to show you how you can configure that particular DID in your uh, extension number so we are going to configure this on my this phone as you can see I have phone which is uh, yet client soft phone is already registered with this IP address and this is the receive ID. So once I'm going to call uh, on my DID number, it should be uh, coming on that particular phone. So let me log into the putty once because we just registered the carriers. We have to check if it's registered successfully or not. So You can use putty by the way but uh, I don't really like it so I'm using the windows ssh mode so it's going to be aspic after that uh, we have to check sip so registry uh, sorry I think I type a wrong command uh, my spelling was wrong one more minute okay the command was wrong uh, actually we type a misspelling okay so let me just type the right spelling let's see so registry okay as you can see it's saying that uh, this particular ip this is my service provider ip and username and it's saying that it's registered successfully and this is the time okay registration time so it's done now okay so great now once you are certain that your carrier is correctly configured in my case which is this one because the call will come from this particular server ip to my this server so i i have configured this now we are going to the inbound section over here so this is the did number that i am currently using so i have to add it over here so once you clicked on the inbound then click on the dids inbound dids then add a new DID number, paste the number over here. You can give any description. Let's say you have a DID. Okay. Then submit. Once it did that, there are many options you can use from here. But I'm not going to take that much time today. I'm going to give you some uh, very important details over here. I'm going to show you. So the first one is this is the DID extension or the DID route. What this thing we are going to do. It will forward the incoming call. Suppose uh, one of your customer call on this particular number or this DID number that you have uh, configured, and this call is going to forward it 
in following option so i wanted to set up in my phone so i can receive it over here so i have selected phone and then the phone extension id it will be on 01 1001 and my server ip but if we wanted to configure to the call menu if you wanted to put ibr you can select it from here so i have just done okay now it's done okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to call to this number so let's see i'm going to call now let's see if it's connected over here or not okay the number is getting dialed it's ringing now okay as you can see the call is coming over here if i just receive hello as you can see the call is answered and it's started the call okay so this is how you can uh, configure the did number and as i mentioned if you wanted to configure the did to ivr you can just select this one this is for the extension this is for the agent you can use many more things so if you find this video any helpful please like the video and subscribe my channel and i'm going to see you to the next video thank you